Hey guys, I'm Sean with Tennessee Truck Driving School. Now we're gonna demonstrate how to do a proper alley dock. So the first thing we're gonna do, obviously we've pulled up in front of the box. We're gonna walk over and check and make sure that we even have enough room to make it in that spot. Okay, because depending on the two other drivers that we have here, if they came too close together, we might not have the room to squeeze our truck and trailer in between those two trucks. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over here and, and step it off. Now you can pretty much eyeball here and look and see I've got enough room. You know, but just to make sure. Yeah, there's definitely more than 12 foot there. Now, just for your common knowledge, your standard trailer is going to be eight and a half wide, eight foot six wide. So we should definitely have more than enough room to back our truck and trailer in that lane. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull up a little bit here. Now, I want to try and use as much room forward as I can to see a lot of what people don't know about alley docking is that, you know, yeah, your trailer's going this way, but your tractor is going this way. So the least amount of cut that you can use is always best. So we want to pull up here and use a small cut over a long period of time versus how most people do it with a big cut over a small period of time. You know what I mean? We want to use small cut long distance so we pull way up here now what i'm going to do is again i'm a, I'm a big fan of the small cuts so we're going to cut it a little bit to the right just until about i can see my landing gear foot pad okay which i can see now now i've got my wheel straight and i like to mark my wheel straight with my hand that way i know where it is and i'm gonna go ahead and lean out my window here And now, what I tend to use here is lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. If I want to tighten it up a little bit, I'll give it a little righty, tighty. If I want to loosen it up a little bit, I'll give it a little lefty, loosey. See, right now, I'm going to give it just a little bit of righty, tighty, and I'm also going to scan my right side here. Now, I'm going to start following my trailer. That way, I don't get in too big of an angle. Now, we're going to stop. I'm almost entering in between two trucks. Okay, this is the most crucial time. So now we're going to get out and look, we're going to go behind our trailer, we're going to make sure that we're going to clear on our blind side. Obviously I know I'm going to clear on my driver's side, I can see it. So let's go ahead and take a step out. Alright, so we're going to come over here and take a look at our blind side. Obviously you can see we have plenty of room here on our blind side, but that's the side we can't see, so you have to get out and check. So we're clear on our blind side, I'm going to go ahead and start working on getting in front of my trailer and getting my trailer lined up with my box here. Just because I got out and checked my blind side doesn't mean that it's no longer a factor. It's still a very big factor because I, can, I still can't see it. Now, anytime you back up and you can't see one side of your trailer, it's definitely a, a danger. So I want to make sure that I keep my trailer still yet yeah, as close to my driver's side as I can because I can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start backing up here and I'm going to keep it as close to my driver's side as I can. All right, and I'm straight with that truck. I'm pretty straight with that truck. And as you can see, I have a lot of room between myself and that truck. We're not necessarily using the lines here today. We're gonna to use the trucks. If I focus on the lines, that they might not necessarily be straight with the trucks. Now, as I back in, I wanna make sure I'm not gonna tag this guy's mirror. All right, and that's how you alley dock.